Hey guys, Tanil here. Hope you're all doing amazing. I've just been on this awesome walk outside, got some vitamin D. Actually ended up going for way longer than I expected because the weather is just beautiful here. So very grateful for that. Um, oh, and I have managed to film in landscape rather than portrait this time. So I guess you can say I'm having a really good day so far. Um, but I am starving now, absolutely starving. So we're gonna make one of my favorite dishes from when I was growing up. It's called Haystacks. And if you don't know what that is, keep watching, because I'm going to show you. Okay, this one is actually quick and easy. First, I want to say thanks for watching my uh, first video back in, I think, it was four years. Uh, it's been a long time, but I'm excited to be doing these videos again. We're making haystacks. First of all, haystacks is kind of like a, uh, a taco salad in a way. Uh, there's layers of salad and corn chips and some kind of meat or bean mixture on top. Um, I will show you all that. But first things first, which I always say that, um, get your salad ready. So whatever you like on a salad, chop it up and um, put it to the side. I have got some tomato, some cucumber, beetroot, which is actually referred to as beets in America. Um, and anytime I ever went to America, and said, can I have beetroot? Everyone looked at me with this like blank stare. So um, just FYI, beets and beetroot, it's one or the other, depending on which country you're in. <laughs> um, and uh, lettuce, I normally would use iceberg lettuce because it has a good crisp crunch. I was gonna use spinach, but then I found this baby cuz lettuce that I am dropping and um, spraying over it because I washed it. But that's what's gonna go on my salad. So get yours ready, chopped up and put it to the side. And then get some corn chips. I'm using these um, Mission Chili and Lime chips that were in the cupboard. And uh, normally, basically you can just like grab a bag like this. This is a giant one that I found. Or you can use like a smaller sandwich bag and chuck them in, seal it, and then we're gonna smash them up. But seeing as there's like not a whole lot left, silly of me to leave a little bit behind, right? So let's just uh, do it in the bag, I say. And what I'm gonna do is crush them up because I'm gonna use this as my base for my haystacks. Oh, I hope the bag doesn't rip. I don't really think about that, but uh, we find out. Uh, cookie spray in a pan. You can use olive oil or oil if you want, but I just use this to keep my fats lower. Do I have a hole in my top? Oh no, that's a split. <laughs> okay, so onion, saute that, and then we're gonna add our meat into that. I found this, um, don't ask me how long this has been in the cupboard, but I found this spice mix for guacamole, but, um, we're not making guac. We can actually, that would be really good with that. But no, we're not gonna make guac. We're gonna chuck this in with the beef <laughs> mince and see what happens. I guess it's gonna add flavor, whatever. We're doing that. Mm. You know what? I just realized the camera is there. So I've been looking not at you guys. I'm sorry. We're just gonna guess that'll do. Uh, mix that in. And this is the stage where if you wanted to make it a so like a meat sauce or like a chili when you would do it normally so I would just add like a pasta sauce a bit of pasta sauce to it or like a can of fresh tomatoes is it a, you can't have a can of fresh tomatoes can you? a can of diced tomatoes I mean um to this and what like even fresh herbs anything you want herbs or herbs um again Australia to America, it's, it's, you say it different, tomato, tomato. What about this one? Uh, aluminium in Australia, um, but in America it's aluminum. So there's a lot of different things. I've just um, come accustomed to saying wherever I am in the world. Here's a hack for you. Normally I would have sour cream on this and uh, it definitely will add a lot of flavor, but also again, 
more fats than I necessarily want right now. Uh, so Greek yogurt is an awesome go-to. Um, has a bit of protein, but really in something like this, you just add like a dollop or a ounce, whatever you want to call it, onto it. And it kind of has the same feel and even taste, strangely enough, as uh, sour cream. So if you're being a bit uh, conscious of what you're eating in isolation, um, try the Greek yogurt maybe. And cheese, yum, one of my favorite foods. Also high in fat, so this is a lighter cheese. But again, use what you want, I'm not judging. So add cheese to your haystacks. I guess this is why they're called in the Greek yogurt. Just kind of gonna plop it on. I guess this is why they call them haystacks is I guess the bottom layer kind of um, resembles hay. I don't know. I actually really don't know why at all. But it's like stacks. So it makes sense. So corn chips, meat you can do sour, sour cream or greek yogurt or cheese in any order you want and then you just kind of dress the salad as you like like layers i'm gonna go tomato um let's go cucumber beets or beetroot oh my god it's giant and then the lettuce and this looks a bit ridiculous now but oh so good. Check it out. <laughs> it looks massive. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Taste of Tanil on YouTube. Just click and subscribe. Share with all your friends. The more people watching, the more videos I will do. And if you're going to make the meals, hashtag Taste of Tanil so I can see them and tag me at Tanil Dashwood on my Instagram and Twitter. And now I got to work out how to um, eat this thing on camera without making an absolute mess. Maybe I'm just gonna have to do like a few, a few mouthfuls to get it, a little bit of everything in at once. But hey, I'm gonna go for it. Wow, well.